Okay, I have a segment. Unfortunately, the video is deleted now, so that kind of sucks for reference. Yeah. But the the Six Nine Goober parody music video. Yeah. I would like to go through some of these lyrics. Oh God. Okay. And do a uh, a bit of a, a genius lyric oh, analysis. Oh. Okay. I like this. Yeah. Who actually regrets me? <laughs> My mother, <laughs> Lil Titty's big ass and no dad. What did you mean by that? <laughs> is that all parody or no. what is your actual relationship with your mother I, and your father? I have no dad and I think my mum probably does regret <laughs> me maybe a little bit. Um, I think, I mean, at the same time, no, because she She's was a model. She's surely proud so... of you. Right. I think the moment that changes for all parents, when you know how we kind of do the same kind of thing, you know, we're on the internet, it's hard to explain to our parents. And Money. Yeah. The the changing <laughs> factor is when you're like, you know, I don't, you know, I, I'm just going to move out now. And I think that, you know, I think that's the moment that it kind of clicked for her that what I'm doing isn't some, you know, cringy you know, I take photos of myself and I'm really cool online, mum, sort of thing. I think when it's like, you know, okay, I'm I'm going to move out now. I think that's the moment where there's, a, you know, it changes to a job. And I think parents right. start seeing it as an actual job. But obviously, would she prefer me to do something else? Of course, of course. Would I want something Does different? Does she know? From... Yeah. Does she know the level of money that you're making from that? Or is that kind of just super vague? I don't really speak about it with her. I think, right. I think you know, she sees that I live in a, you know, a really nice place. I love it. She loves it. And I think... This, this success speaks for itself, yeah. Like, the first thing that I, like, bought with my money was, like, a Christmas present for her. And it was a fridge because her fridge was oh. really, really bad. So... I just thought, like, I the one thing that I wanted, right? This was my level. I Whenever I went to friends' houses and they had a fridge with an ice machine, I was like, what the frick? I like, remember I, doing that exact yeah. same thing. I never had an ice machine on my fridge, and I was like, ah, that's a rich person's fridge. Yeah. Have you seen what, like, a, a fucking new level rich person fridge looks like? It's, like, connected to the internet. They got a screen on it or something. Yeah. I saw yeah. one when... I, when I was fridge shopping, I saw one um, where you, you tap on it, right? And the screen has a camera showing what's in it. But I was yeah. like, just so you open, have to open the your fridge. <laughs> yeah. But open it, open it. If you go shopping and you forget that you don't have a list, you can look at your in the inside of your fridge to see what ingredients you're missing because you can check what's inside. Yeah but, buy yeah, but you open my stuff. fridge and it's like, fuck, you can't see anything. There's like, like, it's like <laughs> three month old, like meat in there and like, it's rotting and it's like, mm. so I would have no idea. How old are you just, uh, is that public? How old are 20, you? 20. Yeah, it's public. 20. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was like that at 20 years old, fucking <laughs> sauce bottles in the back that are from fucking 1972 that you haven't changed. <laughs> Shut the fuck me. up, Chad. Show us your fridge. I bet it looks My insane. fridge is really well done. <laughs> Do you want me? I, I, I'll film it right now. I'll put it in the group chat. My fridge is nice. <laughs> Hang on. Look at my fridge in the group chat, Max. I'm not going on this fucking fridge tangent. I'm just proving a point. My fridge is nice. That is a nice fridge. Go film your fridge. No, no, mm. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say before we move on, like, I think my mum's just glad that I'm doing something because before I wasn't doing anything because I dropped out of school really young. So I can't really get like um, a normal job unless someone like... I don't know, like my mum helps me at whatever, wherever she's working or something. So I think right. she's just glad that I'm doing something because I wasn't before. Yeah, I remember no matter how big that I got on YouTube or what I was doing, it would never ha cross over to my parents' line of vision for success until I remember my mum saw me on TV on like some shitty local <laughs> channel and she was like, oh, you're on TV. Oh, you're famous now. You're on TV. And I was like, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, I'm on the local news. Very yeah. cool. 